went yesterday I've unboxed all the stuff that was in the spare room and I discovered that I didn't pack my sandwich toaster I must have got rid of it don't remember getting rid of it but I'm not surprised it was quite old so I'm off now to all the supermarkets to see who's got the I was going to say the cheapest sandwich toaster but you have to sort of um, look at it the ones under £10 aren't that good obviously well it's hit or miss with some reviewers but for me I like to see what's what and also gets me out of the house because I was indoors all day yesterday I was so much that I thought you know it was a bit of a downer so I thought I'd cheer myself with a takeaway which I didn't which I just didn't have the energy to order in the end so uh, it looked like I had to have the sandwich and I just didn't have the energy to have that so I didn't have any uh, a meal yesterday well I had a, a breakfast but I didn't have Sandwich or, or takeout or anything. I, mind you, I did nibble on some cream crackers. I think I did. Or was that the day before? No, I did have a couple of toast actually in the coffee, so I wasn't hungry. And I haven't eaten this morning now because uh, while I'm out, I still need to get some stuff, especially grapefruit juice. So that's the plan today. Looking for. Mr. Sandwich Toaster. <laughs> right, I've arrived at Tesco. Let's have a look. That £10 one looked good. The £8 one, I did see that model online and I looked at the reviews and it's 50% said it's good, you know, as a budget, if you're a student, for example. Um, others didn't think it was um, that good. I think it cooked some of the bread, not all of it. But the £10 one, it, it takes two, you can toast two sandwiches. So I'm thinking that's probably the eye catching one at the moment. All right, I'm now off to Asda to see what they've got. Um, I forgot I was going to Asda, so I decided to go to, <laughs> not intentionally, to Morrison's. So for five pounds more, you're guaranteed larger bread and easy to cling. Right, I'm now off to Sainsbury's to see what they've got. Oh my gosh, this car is shuddering, why? Choice, isn't it? Now the reason why I got confused and went to Morrison's is because um, <laughs> I was multitasking in a word or two words. 
or hyphenated word and what it was tomorrow I'm picking up the Ford Focus ZTEC and Although this car is an automatic, you can drive manually. So I've been, oops, as you can tell by the sound, I've been trying to. Oh, wait a minute, where am I? Oh, yes. So I've been trying to drive this car like, like a manual just to get back into practice because. Uh, I've been driving an auto for 10 years and although I test drove the Focus the other day um, I'm still a bit rusty especially when it comes to the ignition so that's why with all that on my mind I inadvertently came to Morrison's instead of instead of um, uh, oops. instead of um, Asda's Right, test correction, Sainsbury's. Right, so the first one is two pounds more than the one in Tesco, and it's uh, identical except what's the exception? I can't remember, I know what it was, or maybe there wasn't an ex exception. Hmm. And the second and third ones are, well, they're because of their brand, they're that price. And one had deep plates, one had deep plates, and something else. And the other one was optima had an optimization op uh, function that gives you good results and uh, it's it had remove a removable reversible plates I think that's one other thing but I can't remember so I don't think I'll come here I think the 10 pound Tesco one is still the one on the table Right, I'm off to Asda's now. I think I know how to get there from here. Via a short route. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is the Asda car park. Let's see what they've got in the line of sandwich toasters. 
How's that for a transition? Thanks, seagulls. <laughs> right, that one was fifteen pounds, and it's quite good because you got. Uh, three interchangeable plates and although I didn't show it to you guys I looked on the side of the box and you've got one for making two sandwiches and you've got one that's just one long plate for grills and two plates for making waffles and I thought, if I, if I was the sort of person who would normally make waffles and uh, grill stuff on a regular basis, I would snap it up. But since I don't, and I only sandwich toast, um, I've decided to go f for the one for £10 at Tesco. So that's where I'm going now. I also need to pick up some essentials especially grapefruit juice um, when I get back I'm going to I've got, I've got a video to edit and after that I'm going to watch the three Godfather films back to back so I'm thinking maybe I should get some snacks from Tesco I'm in the mind of getting a a Pringles type crisp. I'll decide when I get there. Right, so I'm gonna pop. <laughs> it seems strange that I'm, I'm I'm at a supermarket, but now I'm gonna go to Tesco. But uh, oh, sorry, that's my belly rumbling. But I need to also get petrol, and I can get club card points as well. Right, so without further ado, off I go. Right, here I am at Tesco car park to get some essentials and to pick up, I'm not forgetting to pick up the whole purpose of today, the sandwich toaster. Right, if it's in the boot. While I was there, I had to present my receipt from last time, where I didn't um, use the club card. Well, I tried to use a virtual club card on the Google Pay app, and it didn't work because when I scanned the phone with the app on it it didn't uh, register the card but activated the payment 
uh, or activated the credit card so or the debit card so I had to uh, take the risk. I thought I could do it online but I couldn't so I had to go to a store and do it so I did that today it's been quite an eventful day today I think so far and now I'm gonna go and stick five pounds worth of petrol in just as a courtesy really because uh, it's a, there is enough for like 20 miles but the orange light is showing and as you can as you heard every time I switch on you hear that so that's where I'm going next and then after that straight home and have cereals then do some editing and then watch Godfathers that's gonna be a marathon that's looking like looking at like nine hours of uh, films back to back so it's what time is it now quarter past 12 so let's say a couple of hours for editing maybe three hours uh, so by midnight I should have had all the films wrapped <laughs> anyway without further ado let's go and now I'm stuck behind the car in front because he has gone to the the kiosk I think it's called sort of paying at the pump so I'm ready to go normally I'm I'm slow at these things but I'm ahead of the game so now I have to wait there's obviously a queue inside dum de dum de dum de dum Dum de dum de dum dum. Is this him? Is this him? Is this him? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Let's go. I'm also, I was say practicing. Yeah, I suppose he is practicing. Not using the cruise control because the other car hasn't got it I do think manual cars had cruise control anyway but apparently when I was researching for some cars lately I did I'm sure I came across um, one that did so cruise control isn't exclusive to um, automatic vehicles it 
it's 20 to 7 and I've just kicked off the export. In other words, I've edited the video, Monday's video. So at quarter, so at 20 to 7 in the evening, I'm about to watch the first of the three Godfather films. <laughs> if I was to watch them all from now, I'd probably finish around 5 o'clock in the morning, and I don't think that's realistic. But I should be able to get one whole Godfather and maybe. I don't know. <laughs> the second one's pretty long. Longer. Anyway, so I'm going to have a coffee break now. And a couple of slices of toast. just paused the Godfather because the laptop um, let out a notification to say the export is finished and I've just kicked off the upload to YouTube I estimate it'll take about 20 minutes which means it should be ready at 22 9 Yes. Yeah, yeah, sorry, 20 to 9. <laughs> so uh, I'll set back down again and about to play the rest of the film. <laughs> 